Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform one experiment related to manufacturing in metrology lab that is measurement and calibration of burner caliper using slip gauze. To perform this experiment we required burner caliper and slip gauze. Here is the burner caliper and here is the slip gauze. Let's see the different parts of burner caliper. And this portion is known as fixed jaw and this is movable jaw. This portion is known as external measuring jaw and this portion is known as internal measuring jaw. We can measure the depth from this part and this is known as depth measuring jaw. This is main scale and the dial is shown out here that is vernier scale. This is lock screw. List count of this measuring instrument is 0.02 mm. In this experiment we are going to measure the external distance. So we can use this external measuring jaw. See how we are going to take measurement from this burner caliper. So in order to do that we have to place this slip gauze in between two jaws and we have to lock this screw. After locking screw we have to note down the main scale reading and the vernier scale coincidence. So vernier scale reading is vernier scale coincident that has to be multiplied by Lewis count. So the total reading will be main scale reading plus vernier scale reading. We are going to take reading for this slip gauze that is 1.05 mm. So we have to fill this observation table. So serial number will be 1 and slip gauze reading in mm is 1.05. After that we have to take the reading. So in order to do that we have to keep this slip gauze like this. And we have to lock this screw. Okay, and we have to see the main scale reading that is MSR. We have to see this MSR in MM that is the main scale reading. So, main scale reading we can see one dot. So, our main scale reading will be one. And we have to see the Vernier scale coincidence. So we have to see this. Uh, we can see that two division after this zero. So we can see that Vernier scale VSC. It means Vernier scale coincidence is two mm. So in order to get the Vernier scale reading, we have to multiply it by uh, the Vernier scale coincidence that has to be multiplied by least count. Least count of this instrument is 0.02 mm and ultimately the Vernier scale reading we got is 0.04 mm. So out here is total reading, out here is main scale reading plus Vernier scale reading. So this is our main scale reading that is 1 mm plus this is Vernier scale reading that is 0.04. So if we add this to we got 1.04 that is our total reading that we have to see the error of this instrument. So initial the reading of slip gauge is 0.05 mm that mm, that has to be minus with this total reading what we got right now. So we got 0.01 mm as a error. So in this way we can to find the percentage of error we have to use this formula percentage of error equals to approximate value that has to be divided by exact value into 100 and our error is 0 that has to be multiplied by 100 so if you multiply this we got 0.66% that is our percentage of error